Here I have an interesting radioactive light bulb. This light bulb contains 25 nanocuries of a radioactive gas known as Krypton-85. Krypton-85 isn't the only radioactive gas used in these light bulbs. Sometimes tritium-3 is used in it. Now, the point of this radioactive gas is for the starter bottle. A starter bottle is a small glass capsule that is used to start the bulb. When electricity is applied to it, it heats up the metal and closes the circuit, allowing the bulb to strike and light. The point of this radiation is to ionize the air, allowing the electrons to flow easier, allowing it to strike quicker. Because there is such a small amount of radioactive material here, you can't even detect the radiation outside of the bottle. Now, this is a quite cool piece of technology, and it's not really used that in modern day light bulbs. Starter bulbs are still used, but with the admission of the radioactive gas. Needless to say, there's not a lot of radioactive light bulbs out there, but you can still find them out in the wild.